Comrades, I am Admiral Andre and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. As you can see this is again version 1.4.4 so of course I have something up my sleeve here. After the N1 mission I thought, you know, we have already worked so hard in our previous missions to create various craft like the Vostok and the Voskhod. So why not start putting these into missions to upload onto the Steam Workshop? Uh, I think that's really a good opportunity because there are not many missions on the Workshop. And maybe that's a good uh, foot in the door uh, in that arena so to speak. So, of course, if we want to start the space, uh, space race and space program in general here, especially of course with the Motherland, that's going to be my first theme here. Then we have to start with Sputnik 1. At any rate, comrades, so let's begin. Of course, after Sputnik 1, I want to still create one more... Uh, what was it? Sputnik? I can't remember the specific number, but I did that mission in my historical missions earlier before Making History came out. And that's the one with Laika, of course. So after that, I think we'll go to Karabal uh, Sputnik and then to Vostok and Voskhod and so on, up to Soyuz and then eventually up to Mir. Now that's going to be a long time again, but I think it's something I can do occasionally. So let's begin. Start game. There's actually something I still want to do with this mission. So we're going to go to Mission Boulder and just open up the Sputnik 1, the birth of the space age. So there we go, it's very messy here. Very simple mission, this is a beginner mission and I have to say I'm a beginner mission maker so getting all the notes and things, this is very simple, it's just a way for me to also basically learn how to do all of these things. But I just want to add a fail component, so I just want to also open up the in one L3 moon landing because I did one like that vessel destroyed so that will just be a fail I think is there a message no there's no message with that but I think there's one up here dialogue abort and then there's an end node hmm okay so I think maybe I'll do that similar type of thing but I won't make this the end node I want to Put a message up first so let's see if i can do that correctly there sputnik one birth of the space age so we'll just have a sort of loose catch-all node here this uh, vessel destroyed let me just find that then this will be the active vessel that's fine doesn't have to be too fancy catch all node we're not going to show a screen message we will just have a dialogue coming up from that let me just find the dialogues. It shows you I don't know this very well yet. Uh, well, best way to learn it is by doing it. So after that we of course get this node. I'll have to test this as well. Uh, will it be Gene Kerman? No, it's going to be Mortimer Kerman. I'm using him as the chief designer basically. So uh, maybe eventually I'll change the N1 mission as well since it doesn't really make sense that we have uh, Werner von Kerman, but also Gene uh, Kerman actually, and I'm still using him. So he's just sort of a generic role of a uh, instructor there. So anyway, then uh, Mortimer will come up and he will, of course, exclaim failure. Now this has to be shown and it has to pause the mission, so the player has to close that. Now what is he going to say? And I can't spell here. What the... That's better. Comrade! Let's think, let's think. What would uh, the chief designer have said if we crashed the Sputnik 1 somewhere? Hmm... Comrade! What a disaster! You have failed! The motherland. I just want to put a capital on the motherland because of course we would. You have failed the motherland. Luckily we can cover this failure up uh, and try again. 
Yes, I guess that's it. We want to keep it simple. Uh, we cover this failure up. Of course, that is what the Soviets were uh, good at, if there was a failure. Then I just want another one, uh, an end node. Dialogue message, display message. This itself could be an end node, but I think we should have another one after that. Uh, it's not going to show anything. It's just going to go there and it's going to be end node and that's that. I'll test this, comrades. Obviously, uh, like I said, I'm not the mission building expert yet. So we're going to save this. There it is. I just want to also make sure that uh, the orbit here is going to be in the correct place. It keeps changing on me for some reason. Very, very strange. I have to figure out what's going on here. Very strange. Oh well, I want to put it a little bit ahead. We're using the desert launch site there because that is the closest to Baikonur. I don't actually call it Baikonur in the mission because I know there is a Baikonur somewhere on the map, right north uh, west from the launch site there. So I don't want to use that name again. But of course that's what it would be. Let's make it a little bit forward. Well, we'll see. We'll save this again and we will leave. So, comrades, now of course we go to play missions and Sputnik 1, the birth of the space age. So this is a beginner mission, as I said. Now, let me read this for you again. Comrade, after years of preparation and testing, we are ready to place the very first artificial satellite into orbit. Sputnik 1 will be a glorious triumph for the motherland. Please proceed to our new launch complex where the chief designer awaits you. Today the thunder of our rockets will signal the beginning of a new age, one we intend to lead. Of course. So that's it, there's nothing much here to see unfortunately, but let us just reset this thing and see what happens. Right, comrades, here we are. It's uh, not quite noon yet, I didn't want the lighting to be too harsh here. Comrade, welcome to our new launch facility. This is, of course, the chief designer here. I know it's very isolated, but I hope your journey here was not too uncomfortable. I am the chief designer of the Motherland Space Program, and I'm pleased to finally meet you in person. Your reputation among the top officials is well known, and I'm sure you will be an asset to our space program. Hopefully this new facility will be your home for quite a while since we have many plans for the future. As you know, today we are attempting to place the very first artificial satellite into orbit. This will show those other Kerbals who is superior. For now, head to Mission Control where you will receive your briefing. Good luck, comrade, and he smiles appropriately. So, objective, comrade, welcome. I really hope you are as good as they say. You will be in charge of launching Sputnik 1. Since we want the whole planet to receive the signals from our satellite, your objective is to place it in an inclined 250 kilometers orbit. Please see the map for particulars. Remember, before your orbital insertion, separate the protective nose cone from the satellite and when you are ready to deploy Sputnik 1 into orbit, you can deploy the antennas with a one key. Good luck, comrade. All our hopes go with you. Continue. Let's go to the map. Okay, it's better now. I see we're a little bit behind already. I'll have to move it ahead a little bit, since the time that it takes the player to read that message, the orbit is of course continuing there, but we'll make it 90% accuracy. This is also the same exact rocket that I used for that Sputnik 1 video that I made a while ago, with a very dramatic lighting and all of that. So yes, uh, very unconventional little nose cap there, but it's the one that worked best. So uh, of course we want the antennas to be above this uh, lower nose cone area, but we can't deploy them until high up because of course the aerodynamic forces will break them off. So let's launch this thing, comrades. Five, four, three, two, one. And there we go. So I'm just going to go straight to the 135 angle and a little bit beyond because we still have to make up for the orbit of the planet. 
Then, yes, it's very simple, of course, after that, comrades. As I said, this is a beginner mission. I'll just tone us down a little. It might be a little overpowered here, but... So be it. Also, I waited way too late for our gravity turn here, but that's also alright. Let's go to the map view and just see what's happening here. Minus 16 degrees there. 14 here, so we'll just wait until it goes up a bit. Let me slow down even more. 9, 8... Okay, go out of stability assist. 6... Now, of course, we're not going to get it perfect because we are not exactly aligned with the orbit now. 4... 3... Maybe we'll get it to... No, I don't think so. All right, let's just get to the 135 line now, and we'll keep it there. Oh, didn't want this heating, but there we are. Okay, lock to prograde, and of course separate the boosters. That's actually a very neat separation there, I have to say. It's surprising, actually. Hmm. Well, there we go, comrades. I think they fixed that, to be honest. Maybe I'm wrong. But when I was doing the tests for this mission, I was still using version 1.4.3 with all the mods, and it didn't look that nice. So, who knows? Alright, just gotta check this. Oh, too late, too late. How embarrassing. We'll just go retrograde. We are in space now, and I can just get rid of this nose cap. So, I do have these uh, vernier engines on the bottom to help us with maneuvering. Let's just bring it down. What's our angle at the moment? Three degrees is fine. Let's just bring it down. Of course, you will be more uh, precise than me. So there we go. Let's see if we can make the motherland proud, comrades. Now, see, this I'm happy with. It's just that nose cap there is not quite ideal, but... The way this looks, I'm very happy with. So, of course, I'm using the fuel tank here for Sputnik instead of the actual Stay Sputnik probe core because this is much smaller. And I think it's more, more appropriate, really, for a very first satellite. So, yes, let's just fast forward. I think we can do this without planning. Let's hope uh, I'm not being overambitious here. Uh, let's go to 20 seconds and then let it correct itself here. And I think we should probably start burning. We'll just watch the T minus there. Don't want it to reach zero. But we also don't want it to go forward too fast. Well, I think that's pretty ideal, honestly. We'll just say lock now. And it goes. Is it good enough? Of course, we're wobbling slightly here. There we go. Orbit achieved. Well done, comrade. We read Sputnik 1 in the correct orbit. Now separate from the booster and make sure antennas are extended. Continue. So, are antennas extended? Let's have a look. No, they're not. So it's a good reminder for the player. We can also stop using the fuel there but it's fine now we don't need it anymore just change the view here and we will separate this is a momentous occasion comrades beep 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 comrade we are reading you loud and clear the motherland is the first to reach this milestone now make at least one orbit so we are sure everyone can receive our signals and so that we can learn about the space environment of course we do want to learn something here so yes, uh, it's a very simple craft. We have one battery there. You can see it. Is it two? It's actually two batteries and the Probodobodyne Octo 2, the thin one there, because it's the only one that will fit without clipping out too much. But I think this still looks better for me than the Stay Putnik Probe Core, at least for this purpose. So uh, everything is fine there. Uh, we just have to wait now. So let's fast forward, comrades. Of course, now 
the whole planet is shocked by this new development, uh, especially those other Kerbals. You see, I'll never name them. I mean, I don't even know what we would call them. A Merry Kerbals, maybe? I don't know. Of course, we're not really playing on the whole conflict aspect of the Cold War. Kerbal has never been about violence and all that. It's more about exploration and just having fun. There we go. Well done, comrade. The motherland is victorious. This is the start of a new age for Kerbal kind, and we are right at the forefront thanks to you. There is much more to do, so expect another call soon. And that's that. Just give 10,000 score mission success. Now, before we quit, I'm just going to close this because I still need a picture of the uh, Sputnik here for the... Not, it's not a thumbnail, but you know the, the image at the beginning. So let me just see, where can I do this? So that the player obviously sees it. So uh, something like that with a moon in the background. F1. It's a bit of foreshadowing there. So yes, comrades, close this. Now I'm just going to revert back to the start because I need to test that fail message. So escape and restart the mission. All right, so we've seen this. Let's just launch and crash this thing. The motherland is disappointed, but there we are. Right, everyone, get out of the way. Comrade, what a disaster! You have failed the motherland. Luckily, we can cover this failure up and try again. It's <laughs> mission success. I'm going to have to change that, so it's always good to test here. It's definitely not a success. But anyway, comrades, that's that. There we go. Just a little short mission here for you. I'll see about creating the uh, Leica Sputnik uh, shortly, probably over the weekend, and maybe also the Vostok, because I already have that craft, of course. And that's that, comrades. See you next time. Let me know what you think about these missions. What about creating sort of a Soviet mission pack here. I think that might be a nice idea. So obviously I'll have to slightly revise the N1 eventually, but for now it's perfectly fine. So see you again, comrades. Have a fantastic day. Glory to the motherland.